Hello and welcome to the fourth lecture on convolutional codes. So here in this lecture, we shall see how to draw the code tree and find the output for a given input. In the previous video lecture, we had considered this convolutional encoder and we also drew the state diagram and the state transition table. Now given the state diagram, when we write the code tree, will we be able to find the output is the question and the answer is yes. So let us see how we can draw the code tree from the state diagram and find the output for the given input 10111. So let's see how we can do that. Now here the output is 14 bits where the output is n into l plus n where n happens to be 2 because there are two outputs and l is the length of the input 10111 and m happens to be the flip-flops the number of flip-flops which is 2. So we had, so considering the same convolutional encoder, giving the same input, we had written the state diagram and state transition table and the link has been given in the description, which is lecture 3 under convolutional codes. So let's begin with the code tree. Now points to be remembered is that if the input is 0, I move up and if the input is 1, I move downwards. So this represents the input. This is 0 input 1 input and what is present within parenthesis brackets happens to be the output. So the vertical line represents the node whereas the horizontal line represents the branch. So we begin with S0. So if I'm in state S0 and if the input is 0, I move upwards. If the input is 1, I move downwards. If input is 0, the output happens to be 0, 0, which has been indicated in the parenthesis. So I have 0, 0. So I write 0, 0 here. If input is 1, I move to state S1 and the output is 1, 1. Right? So now if the input is 0, I come back to state S0. So I am still in state S0 here. So this is S0. And here, if it is 1, 1, I go to state S1. So I am here, S1. So now, if I am in S0, if the input is 0, again I move upwards. If input is 1, I move downwards. And what is the output? The output remains the same, 0, 0 output. And 1, 1 output here for input 1 and I remain in state S0 and here I go to state S1 and it continues. So now I can complete the code tree here for a number of stages. Now for a 5 bit input, for each bit I get 2 bits as the output so I need 7 stages, isn't it? So 5 stages for these 5 input bits and since there are 2 flip flops I need to feed in 2 zeros. Right? So that I get the output. So therefore, I need to have 7 stages. So 5 plus 2 to get the complete output. So let me draw the code tree. So let me complete the code tree wherein I consider the input 10111. So I can actually draw the entire code tree. Right? But I will only complete it for the input 10111. So what is the path? The path is if the input is 1. So initially I am in state S0, so if the input is 1, so I move in this direction. And what is the output? The output is 1, 1. So the first output what I get is 1, 1. Then the input is 0. So I am in state S1 here. So 0 is upwards, 1 is downwards. If I am in 0, I go to state S2 with an output 1, 0. If I have a 1, I go to state S3 with an output 0, 1. Alright, so now the input is 0. So therefore, I consider the upward path. I consider this path. And what is the output? The output is 1, 0. So I have the output as 1, 0. Alright, okay, so now next the input is 1. So I'm in state S2, 
I can either have a zero or a one. So if I have a zero, I move upwards. If I have a one, I move downwards. So I have a one here. So if I'm in state S2, if I have a zero, I go to state S0. I go to state S0 with an output 1, 1. But if I have a 1, I go to state S1 with output 0, 0. So therefore, the next input bit is 1. The third input bit is 1. So I move downwards. And what is the output? The output happens to be 0, 0. So now I'm in state S1 here. So now let me consider. So I'll only complete this portion of the code tree so that I'll be able to write the output. So I'm in state S1. So I'm in state S1. And what is the next input? The next input. So we've finished with three bits. The next input is one. So anyways, if I'm in state S1, if I get a zero, so zero, input is 1. If input is 0, I'm in state S1. If input is 0, I go to S2 with an output 1, 0. If input is 1, I go to S3 with an output 0, 1. Right? So the fourth bit is also 1. Right? The fourth input bit is 1, so I move downwards. And what is the output? The output is definitely 0, 1. So now I am in state S3. So again I have input can be either 0 or 1. So if I am in state S3, if input is 0, I go to S2 with output 0, 1. But if I am in state S3 and if I have 1 as the input, the output is 1, 0. The output is 1, 0 here. So now I consider the next bit, that is the fifth bit, which is 1. So therefore, I have to move downwards. I have to move downwards. And therefore, the output is 1, 0. Right? So now we have completed with the five input bits, which is 1. 0, 1, 1, 1, and I've obtained the output as 1, 1, and then I have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. But there are two flip flops here, so therefore I need to feed in two zeros so that I get the complete output. And if you observe, you only have 10 bits, but the output cons consists of 14 bits. So therefore, I need to feed in zeros, two more zeros. So I have to extend the code tree, right? So if I'm in S3 and if I get 1, I remain in S3. So I remain in S3. So now I have to feed in an input 0, right? So if I have a 0, the output is 0, 1. If it is 1, the output is 1, 0. We have just written this. And the next state would be S2 here and it would be S3. Alright, so we have given an input 0. So therefore I move upwards and the output is 0, 1. The output is 0, 1. Now I am in state S2. If I am in state S2, input is 0, input is 1. If the input is 0, S2 input is 0, I go to S0 with an output 1, 1. But if input is 1, I go to S1 with output 0, 0. So the last input bit, or the last bit here, which is being fed to the encoder is 0. So I move upwards and the output is 1, 1. So this is the final output what I get. So the output of the convolutional encoder. For this convolutional encoder for the input 10111 is 11 
वन जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो जीरो वन एंड वन वन राइट सो दिस इज द आउटपुट हियर एंड वी ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस आउटपुट इज करेक्ट सो वी ऑब्जर्व दैट दिस आउटपुट इज करेक्ट एंड यू कैन आल्सो डू द वेरिफिकेशन बाय यूजिंग ट्रांसफॉर्म डोमेन अप्रोच सो समटाइम्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन दे वुड आस्क यू टू डू द वेरिफिकेशन टू चेक वेदर योर आउटपुट व्हाट यू हैव ऑब्टेंड इज राइट और रॉन्ग सो यू कैन डू इट यूजिंग ट्रांसफॉर्म डोमेन अप्रोच व्हिच इज वेरी इजी right so this is how we draw the code tree so knowing the encoder once you have the state diagram you can draw the code tree easily and you have to trace the path you have to trace the path for the given input so you just have to complete that portion you don't have to draw the complete code tree unless it's been asked to asked for you to draw the complete code tree say for two stages three stages or four stages in the test or examination you can just draw that portion of the code tree to traverse the path to give you the output for the considered input right so this portion so if you observe we have two extra stages right so you have five input bits so these are the five stages 1 2 3 4 5 and we need two extra stages which is referred to as the tail of the tree so i hope you have understood how to draw the code tree and how to find the output by traversing the path considering the inputs so if it is zero i move upwards if it is one i move downwards and then you write the outputs along the horizontal path and then by traversing the path you will be able to write the output very easily I hope you found the video informative and interesting. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads. And to watch all the other videos in information theory and coding theory, click on the i icon or go through the playlist information coding theory, and you will find all the videos there. And thanks for watching.